Hello and welcome to the Daily Bible Podcast. My name is William Hemsworth. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode. Well, today we continue on into Matthew chapter 9. Uh, yesterday we saw a group of John the Baptist disciples coming to Jesus and asking, and asking Jesus why his disciples didn't fast. And Jesus alluded to himself as being the bridegroom, and while the wedding is going on, you know, the guests don't fast, and there'll be a time for that. Well, today we're going, to, we're going to continue on with verses 16 and 17 in Matthew chapter 9. And those verses say, No one sews a piece of unshrunk, of unshrunk cloth on an old cloak, for the patch pulls away from the cloak, and a worse tear is made. Neither is new wine put into old wineskins, otherwise the skins burst, and the wine is spilled, and the skins are destroyed. But new wine is put into fresh wineskins, and so both are preserved. So Jesus is using a lot of analogy that would not be lost on his listeners. But just something different here. An old garment alludes to the Old Covenant. It suggests that Jesus viewed it as a worn-out piece of clothing that's kind of be ready to be put by the wayside, you know, given to goodwill, be used for rags, whatever the case is. And we kind of see this in Psalm, 100, Psalm 102, verse 26, where the Old Covenant world was scheduled to, quote, wear out like a garment. And then we see Jesus talking about, you know, you can't put new wine in old wineskins, you know, etc. So when wine is made, it's juice that is fermented. And when it ferments, there's pressure that builds up. If that fermenting wine is put into old skins that have already been stretched out because of this fermenting process, that increased pressure will break those wine skins and the wine will go everywhere. So Jesus illustrates the impossibility of inaugurating the new covenant while also maintaining the old. So the abundance of grace that we find in the new covenant can't be contained within the structures of the old covenant system. A new kingdom is needed to contain it. One that will endure forever and that's what we find in Christ. So I hope that sheds some light on these two verses here. And now one other thing I would just like to mention in regard to, in regard to into these passages is that when we follow Christ, we need to prepare. We need to prepare for new ways to live, uh, new ways to look at people, and new ways to serve. Basically, when we choose to follow Christ, we're leaving our old lives behind. And we give a new life through, through our baptism, through our faith, to be conformed to Christ and His will. And that means to love and serve people without inquiring whether or not they are worthy. Well, God bless you all. Thank you for listening to this edition of the Daily Bible Podcast. As always, if you enjoy the show, I ask that you just rate it, you please share it. And also, if you have any questions, any prayer requests, please email me at hopewithin18 at gmail.com. God bless you guys. Have a great day.